Manhunt underway for a killer who opened fire in a hair salon. It is a story that sparked a lot of concern on our Facebook page when it first happened in December. Now tonight, DeKalb County Police have identified 24-year-old Darisha Terry as a person of interest. Part of the reason this story has really garnered so much attention online is the victim ended up on a stranger's porch on Westridge Avenue, miles away from the salon on Memorial Drive. So how did he end up there and where could the killer be hiding out? Ryan Kruger takes us back to the scene. This story starts at this hair salon two weeks ago when there was some sort of verbal fight inside the salon. Not many people there, only about six or seven. I tried to walk in. Now, two weeks later, the business still closed down. There was a woman inside. She was doing the hair of a young lady. She didn't want to speak with us. So instead, hear what DeKalb County Police say happened next. It appears that there was a dispute at the hair salon that escalated to the level of uh, gunfire. So we don't know what happened next. The man left, but we don't know if he got in a car, ran away, what. But we do know a few minutes later at a house about two miles away from here, he knocked on the door, begging the neighbor to call 911. That subject succumbed to his wounds and was pronounced dead at the scene. And what's really tragic about this story is that when the man died here, everything that we know about this shooting died with him. We don't even know who the guy is yet, but police are hoping that someone will recognize this woman and come forward. Oh, All right, so th this is the person of interest here. Do, do police right. think that she is the one who, who pulled the trigger on the weapon? Well, I can tell you here, Jeff, uh, police believe she was somehow involved in the fight, in the shooting. They wouldn't really elaborate other than saying she was there, she was somehow involved. I will say they do believe that uh, Derisha Terry is local. She has several old addresses. They've checked all of them. Uh, no luck finding where she's living right now. And again, no luck finding out who this victim is. Two weeks, still not identified. Hopefully Jeff? we will find out who that is sooner rather than later. Ryan Kruger, thank you.